everyone, this is a post mainly about overcoming injuries in your body. And it's about the obstacle of the injury, which is might be pain, fatigue, loss of income, the emotions that it presents, uh, sleep difficulties, all sorts of things. So the thing about the obstacle, so when we see, when we have an obstacle in front of us, we generally, people generally want to fight against it or just lay down and not do anything about it, like avoid it. What if the obstacle was there to actually help you? It's not actually there to stop you as it appears to be, but it's actually there to help you. So some things about obstacles, they'll come forward. Obstacles will make or break you. If you work with them, they'll make you into a, a, a more resilient, expanded version of yourself. Uh, if you work against them, they'll just continue to break you until you actually start to listen to what the obstacle has to say and show you. Um, obstacles will change you and the nature of life is to change. And the last one here is life tends to slap you into change if you don't make a conscious change. It's just a fact of life. We need to change. The more you make conscious changes in your life, um, before it's like before you need to be on fire. So when you just start to smoke a little bit, those metaphor, start to smoke a little bit, there's time to make a change. Some people seem to need to be totally on in flames before they realize they need to make a change. So that's really life slapping them into change, needing to make a change. Um, but you can make a conscious change, you can make it easier. Uh, if you drop the resistance, you'll make a faster breakthrough, for sure. If you work with the obstacle, with what it's presenting, uh, get help. Um, obstacles are the way forward to live the life that you want. They're actually helping you to live the life that you actually want. We need to find purpose in the problem. Problems we have. They all have a purpose and that they're actually for our higher purpose because they're actually expanding us and changing us into the, the bigger versions of the self that we're always designed to be. Um, obstacles will grow you and they'll teach you. It's a really important one. Um, if we resist things, they persist. If you, what you resist persists. Uh, really important one, especially when it comes to pain or frequent illness. It's, and really a big one here, it's common to break down just prior to getting the breakthrough. So you need to get support to help you get the, um, when you're breaking down, get the support from outside, from people you trust. Uh, and ideally people you trust, but also have achieved the thing that you want to achieve. Uh, and when working with health practitioners, is the health practitioner a, a, um, a picture of health themselves? If they are, follow what they say especially if they've overcome the exact injury that, you've, uh, that, you're, that you're experiencing. If they look like they're not a picture of health, they're probably not very integral in the realm of health. Um, so they've got things they need to unlock themselves. Uh, maybe find someone else. Um, indecision is a decision. That's a big one for nearly anything in our lives.